when did life lose all meaning? I don't know. It's been like this for a long, long uh, time now. Not even playing video games cheers us up anymore. Ugh, I'd do anything to get out of our present circumstances. Well then, how about going to the future? You built a time machine? Eh, uh, not exactly, but are you interested? Yes, yes, anything to escape this dreariness. What is this place? This is the Cryonics Lab. It's where we'll make your dreams come true. Cryonics? Ooh, I saw a video about this once. It's the cryopreservation of humans. You just made the confusing word even longer! Speak in plain English! Cryopreservation is when biological matter is frozen for an extended period of time, so it can be preserved. Wait, that stuff's real? Huh, I thought it was just an overdone plot point in superhero movies. So does that mean there are actual superheroes in here? Eh, not in here, but there are lots of other people stored in these cryogenic storage doers. Do us like a new type of beat? Do -a, do -a. No! A doer is a specialized type of vacuum flask that can store substances at well below ambient temperatures. Only these ones are large enough to contain whole human bodies! Ooh, very fancy. So how exactly do you freeze an entire human body? Using liquid nitrogen. That sounds tasty! I'll take two! No, that stuff would be terrible for you, stomach. It's nitrogen in a liquid form at an extremely low temperature. How low? Negative 196 degrees Celsius. Ugh, I'm getting really chilly just thinking about it. Yup, if mishandled, it can cause burns or blisters on the skin. And if ingested, can cause extreme organ damage. Ouch! So you need special cryogenic gloves when handling it. So why do we use this stuff if it causes so much trouble? Because, among other things, it's effective at cryopreserving biological material. Blood, early stage embryos, eggs, plant seeds, and so much more have been successfully preserved using it. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's get this show on the road! All right, now the vitrification process will begin! Bitter vacation? It's a cooling and solidification process that doesn't cause ice crystal formation. Mmm, ice crystals. They're what cause damage to frozen biological matter, so we need to prevent them forming while still preserving the body with low temperatures. That sounds risky, Doctor. What are the chances of survival? Haha, <laughs> zero. Zero? Oh, I thought Brain already properly explained everything earlier. <clears throat> Cryonics is the freezing and storage of human remains. You mean that everyone in those storage duas is... d d dead Well, I'm out. Now wait just a minute there, brother! Huh? We're not in sync, but we always agree with each other! Not this time, dum-dum! But why? Are you nuts? Doctor just said that Cryonics is going to kill us! Did you forget why we're here in the first place, dummy? To travel to the future? Exactly! Which means that after we take that bitter vacation and get stored like an ice cube, Doctor is going to revive us in the far future! Is that the plan, Doctor? Very smart, Kidney. That is exactly right. Oh boy, that sounds interesting. How does the revival process work? Uh... Aha! I thought so! Doc's been lying to us this whole time! He just wants to freeze us so he can perform his weird experiments! No, 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 you will definitely be revived in the future. So, why the awkward pause just now? The technology to revive cryopreserved humans hasn't exactly been, uh, invented yet. What? what? Then why are you so confident that we'll get revived at all? Because the study of cryopreservation has been around since 1953. Science has made great strides in the technology involved ever since. And there are tons of doctors and scientists all over the world working to advance it even further. Meaning that the method of reviving cryopreserved humans will definitely be discovered in the future? Exactly. Well, I'm sold. Me too. But it's all too far-fetched. It's impossible to revive the dead. 
Yeah, why the heck are there so many people invested in this quackery? Hey, it's not quackery. Yes, it is. Shut up and let him talk. Centuries ago, electricity seemed like an impossibility. And look where we are now. Yeah, so as science advances further, things that seem impossible now will just be a common thing in the future. Including immortality. Imagine being able to revive after death. That sounds so cool. Like those red mercenaries in that super cool movie we just saw. Wait just a minute. Why is the doctor so sure that the method of revival will definitely be discovered? Yeah, people have been trying to figure out the secret of immortality for centuries now, and we're still nowhere close. What if it's just one of those things that will never be? Then we'll be stuck as an ice cube forever? Mmm, ice cube. I think we should go through with it. Huh? But why? Because I'm tired of the boring old toilet we have. I want to have a futuristic toilet with all the bells and whistles. I don't care about the risks. Seriously? That's your reason? Just go to Japan! Are you kidding? I'm not traveling that far. Going to the future is much more feasible. You know what else wakes up after being dead? Zombies! Yeah, what if a revival process is discovered, but we turn into a zombie in the future? That's not gonna happen. Zombies are just fiction. Well, so is this miracle revival method you keep talking about. Wait, you said science has advanced a ton, right, Doctor? So hasn't a cryopreservation method been discovered yet where we won't become... Remains? Yes. There technically is, and it's called suspended animation. Well, why didn't you say so? Yeah, let's use that instead of this death trap. Because at the moment, the suspended animation procedure can only freeze live subjects for up to only a few hours. Oh yeah, like what that team of doctors in Maryland did with their patient. Uh-huh, suspended animation these days is primarily used for patients suffering from life-threatening circumstances, so the doctors have more time to treat them. Like in heart surgery? Or better yet, brain surgery. Ugh, don't remind me. So you see, that's not really what you're looking for. Exactly! And we want to escape the heck hole that is the present! Right, buddies? I think this is still way too risky. Why don't we just make the most of what we have today? Like how? We could start by quitting the boring job we currently have and getting a more interesting one. Hey, didn't we want to be an artist when we were a lot younger? We could try doing that again. Are you nuts? There's no money in that. Yeah, Dum Dum, that's why we never did it in the first place. Besides, with the way AI art is advancing these days, all artists will be out of a job in like just a few months. Well, it's better than being a lifeless frozen ice cube. Look, plenty of famous people have undergone this treatment. That should give you even more confidence that it'll all eventually work out. Like who? Uh, like the guy that gave birth to that famous mouse. Ooh, Walt Disney! See, see? If a smart guy like that went through with it, that means cryonics is a sure thing! Sorry, Doc, that's actually just an urban myth. In reality, Walt Disney was cremated and is now interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in California. Darn you and your encyclopedic knowledge of all things Disney brain! Hey, I like their movies. Either way, there are currently around 250 human bodies being cryopreserved and over 1,500 people that are signed up to undergo the process immediately after they pass away. Yeah, so support for this technology won't just suddenly die down. We're in good hands! Uh, it's suddenly gotten really cold in here. Well, your human's already deep into the vitrification process after all. What? Good. No turning back. It's not worth the risk. I don't care, the present sucks and I don't want to be here anymore. You have a face only a mother could love! We look the same, dummy! Why do you always talk so weird? Right back at you, screwball. You eat too much. Yeah? Well, you poop too much. Everyone shut up! You're driving me nuts! Look, we have a very important decision to make and there's not a lot of time left. So what do you suggest? I say each side lays all their cards on the table in a civil manner. Then I'll make the decision. Okay, listen up, dum-dums! I said in a civil manner. Okay, okay, jeez! Pro, we escape the sucky present and go to the awesome 
future! Con! The cryonics process kills us! Pro will get revived by scientists with future tech. Con, we're not sure if that future tech can even be invented. Pro, tons of people believe in cryonics technology today, so chances of it advancing further in the future is high. Con, we could get revived as a zombie. Pro, I don't have to listen to stomachs whining all day every more. Con, we have friends and family here in the present. If we go through with this, We'll never see them again. Aw, heart. Please, buddies, let's just stay in the present and make the most of what we have before it's too late. Four, three, two. Huh? What's the countdown for, Doc? All right, I've made my decision. We're going to see you soon. Well, what do you know? Ha! I told you guys it would all work out. Pet, you all feel real stupid right now. Oh! oh.